uh, Diablo 3 today. I'm going to be doing the Barbarian Achievements, um, most of the class-specific um, challenge ones, and actually unlocking them for the most part um, in this video. Alright, so the first one we're going to try to start off with here is an Impenetrable Defense, which is blocking five attacks in a row. Now, to do this, um, I've gotten my Barbarian to level 60, or an Inferno. Um, got some, eh, kind of okay gear. None of it's too great, but um, I purchased a few items specifically at really cheap prices, um, namely Doombringer for percent chance to block, a very high percent chance to block shield, and um, what is it? Oh yes, Kortor's Brace, plus five percent chance to block, Helm of Command, which also has percent chance to block. Um, there's a legendary ring that you can get. Um, yeah, this doesn't actually do that. But um, this ledger ring you can get that has a percent chance to block too, but it's very expensive. Whereas these items I'm showing you now, I got them for relatively cheap. So now we're kind of going to go find a place that can find a bunch of enemies to hit me. And we're a nightmare, as you can see. Let me show you also. Um, a total percent chance to block. Oh, it should be here. 48%. So every other attack is like a bolt to be blocked. And we can just stand around while some enemies try to attack me. And they're not really doing much damage. And also, a good thing is I don't have thorns, so I'm not going to accidentally kill them by just being hit. Let's try to find some more guys to hit me. Ah, there we go. This took a little while, but eventually it happens. And you can even see my life regenerates faster than it can be drained. And that's probably because I have a little bit of life regen. Yeah, 785 actually. So, which is actually not that hard to get on some barbarian gear. <laughs> I'll put into that. But that's how you get that achievement easily. Um, you can, if you don't want to spend the money on the gear, um, which altogether I probably spent maybe. Let's see, about 200,000, honestly, not much more than that. And um, you can just use a regular shield at lower percent, but you're going to wait a long, long time. Um, anyways. All right, now we're going to be doing the Bloodbath achievement, which is keep a monster under the bleed effect continuously for 20 seconds. I'm still using the same kind of loadout from before, um, particularly because it's low damage and really tanky, which is what I'm looking to do anyways. Um, as for skills, Unforgiving, uh, Passive, so Regenerating Fury, so we can use this Rend, which is going to be one of those skills. And using Ravage, it doesn't really matter though. And then a bunch of other Fury generating abilities, Warcry would be handy also. Um, just because this hasn't, this character hasn't been uh, geared very well. So, and also want to make a guide that expects everyone has best gear or something. Anyways, so I'm going to go ahead and do this. And we're at full fury now from that passive. So our idea here is just we're going to hit Asmodan. And we're doing this on Hell. Um, tried this already, made sure that he couldn't damage me too bad. You can pick whichever difficulty is best for you. You also want to make sure you're not killing him. Alright, there's a bleed. Uh, you can kind of see that his taking damage from it. I just want to do it every few seconds. Might have accidentally reset it there. You don't even really need to hit him, actually. Uh, 
There we go. Got it. Yeah, I think I messed up a little bit at the beginning. Um, and, like, for a split second there, let the uh, bleed effect stop. But you get the idea now. And actually, you don't even need to hit him, as I kind of showed. I thought it needed to at first to generate enough fury, but not really. But yeah, that pretty much wraps this one. Alright, right, now we're going to do the Death from Afar achievement, which requires killing one of the following enemies with a thrown weapon. We're going to be doing it with Asmodan. And basically, we made the game back on hell again. Same setup, except I switched over to my Mortal King Boulder Breaker, which increases my damage up to 32,000. Still not that hard to reach, um, you know, for a freshly 60 Barbarian, uh, as long as you've got a couple mil maybe to spend on the auction house. Um, or a few hours at Inferno should net you the gear to get to that damage. Either way, you can also, like before, go back to lower difficulties to do this. But I'm just going to do it at hell because I know I'll be able to easily manage how I kill him. And you can see at this point I'm taking big hits out of his health. Alright. Now, let's start using our thrown weapon thing. Oh, there we go. It wasn't that hard. Just get him down a little health and just spam this weapon throw. And we still had the unforgiving passive from before, so that's also worth noting. Yep, that's the death from before achievement. Alright, so we're going to do a really easy one, which is bask in my glory. Use a skill that grants a beneficial effect to your follower. Alright. War cry. That's all you need to do. <laughs> it's very simple. Let's use that ability with a follower in your command. I'm actually surprised I didn't have that unlocked already. Um, now, the last one that is really worth covering is Blown in the Wind. Break 2,000 objects with Whirlwind. Now, I'll cover this. Come back in a second here. Alright. Um, let me use. Now, really, it'd be hard to show you because it's going to just take a long time uh, to get 2,000 objects. However, there you go. Yeah, Whirlwind, if you pick Dust Devils, you can generate these tornadoes that come off of you. And you pick a place like, let's say, you Keep Depths, where there's a lot of objects around. And just whirlwind your way around all the rooms. And you can even, if you want to gear yourself um, really well, you can get a bunch of fury generating equipment so that you can pretty much do whirlwind almost nonstop and just whirlwind through entire maps. Um, but again, that's not so much of a how is it done, but a time spent doing it kind of challenge. So that pretty much wraps up this video, though. Thank you guys for watching.